With one in two Australians visiting YouTube every day, it is no wonder plenty of people are using the platform to make money. Tonight, the online superstars. She may not look it, but 12-year-old Grace Mulgrew runs a successful business. And she has done since the age of six. See, that's how you kick a soccer ball. I think everyone at my school kind of gets used to it and used to like the fact to have like a channel that's kind of popular. The tween runs her YouTube channel Grace's World, where she makes videos of herself playing with Barbies. Grace has 1.6 million subscribers and a total of almost 1.5 billion views. I mean, I always love YouTube and I love playing with my dolls and stuff and I thought I'd just love it if I could see one of my own videos up on YouTube one day. I've got a surprise for you. Many young kids what? play with dolls, Where but Grace's wild imagination YouTube. has turned her hobby into a lucrative business for her entire family. It's a lengthy process making these videos. It's you know, upwards of 50 hours a week uh, making one video, so we get one out a week. Greg is Grace's dad and business partner. Just a few he says he left his job in computer programming and Grace's mum quit as a bookkeeper because they say they're making a better living working alongside their daughter. Hi guys, welcome back to Grace's room. And there's no end in sight, even when Grace loses interest in Barbies. She does have another channel though, uh, Grace's Room, where she does more personal stuff and that's the sort of channel that will grow with Grace. Time to dry this hair. After the break on A Current Affair, it's not just youngsters making a mozza on social media. Good morning guys, so today is Monday and Miller is having her very first swimming lesson. You scared me! Welcome back. Sick and tired of your day job? Maybe you should start thinking like this home cooking that anybody, literally anybody, can do. It's given us the opportunity to um, buy a home, we, we travel uh, around the world. Perth and, dad uh, Rob Nixon is better known on YouTube as Nico's Kitchen. He films himself fire, cooking and steak. more than now one million people subscribe to watch. Cool Rob has had a total of 190 million be. views. So no one really knew what YouTube was so I was leaving a pretty safe job to go and do this, what looks very risky. Do you like these carrots? The dad once worked as a ground crew at Perth Airport. Ten years on, the self-proclaimed grandfather of YouTube is being jetted around the world, promoting his online personality. Well, I think you'll always have people say that this isn't a real job. Um, and I always tell people, you know, I'm putting in a lot of hours every week, like 70 hours a week. This is non-stop, it's 24-7. What are you doing? Are you doing numbers? I was 20 weeks pregnant with my beautiful daughter Miller. I actually discovered that she was going to be born with a cleft lip and gum notch. Kind of decided to take the plunge and upload my first video, just kind of sharing my journey and what I went through. Kiara Moore runs her page, Aussie Mum Vlogger. 34,872 people subscribe to watch her run errands, do the shopping and other mundane tasks. She's had 3,922,401 views in total. That about the last three months is when I've started to earn enough money to be able to stay at home with my kids. In Australia alone, there are 5,000 YouTube channels with more than 1 million subscribers. 90% of views come from outside this country. Last year, more than 100 Aussie YouTubers earned more than $100,000. And it's estimated that Aussie YouTubers in total raked in $87 million just in advertising. There are much more lucrative uh, possibilities with brand integration deals where, where creators represent uh, brands in their video content. Stuart Cunningham is a professor in creative industries at Queensland University of Technology. It takes I think uh, a very considerable talent to be able to not just start a career like this but to maintain it. To some people you are living the ultimate dream. It is the ultimate dream. Meet Alan Katak. He's a professional gamer. With 878,628 subscribers, 215,897,466 people have tuned in to watch him play and review games. And he says he's making decent coin doing 
just this. When the World Health Organization adds gaming disorder to its classification. I have to pause this right here, because what have they done? Why is she rotating like an actual character in the Why? Why did you do this? Well, this is awkward. As you can see here, it's so easy for anyone, whether you're a YouTube sensation or just a subscriber, to have a say online. Psychologist Ian Wallace says there are risks, especially for children. Straight away you open it up to the whole world, not just for your kids, but the whole family now has no privacy. So you have to try and control it. You have to keep a balance that they're involved in other things and doing lots of normal things that kids need to do. And that they're getting lots of their self-image and self-esteem from meaningful people around them, not just from strangers online. Now to get them in Grace's page is strictly managed by her parents. Just the other day we said, you know, where would we be if we didn't have YouTube? You know, the opportunities that have come our way because of this um, have been numerous and, like I said, we're very lucky.